uh, Mr. Cooper. Uh, I'm a commercial crabber, and I've been working in the Chesapeake Bay for 50 plus years. And I have a crab house uh, business out on the water. And the water level is the same as it was when the place was built in 1970. Uh, I'm not a scientist, but I'm a keen observer. And um, if sea level rise is occurring, why am I not seeing signs of it? I mean, we're, our island is disappearing, but it's because of erosion and not sea level rise. And then unless we get a seawall, we lose, we will lose our island. But back to the question, why, why am I not seeing signs of the sea level rise? What do you think the erosion is due to, uh, Mayor? Uh, wave action, storms. Have, have, has that increased uh, any? Um, not really. I well, mean, so, so, the, so you're losing the island even though the waves and haven't increased? Yes, this, this erosion has been going on since uh, Captain John Smith discovered the island and named it. Yeah, and it's, well, it's gotten to our doorstep now and we focus on it more. Well, arguments about science aren't necessarily going to be of any comfort to you and I'm sorry for what you're going through and your, your neighbors on uh, Tangier Island. Um, I, I read about you in the paper. Uh, there was an article in the Washington Post, I believe, after yeah. President Trump called you up. And uh, it won't necessarily do you any good for me to tell you that the scientists do say that the sea level is rising in the Chesapeake Bay and that you've lost about two-thirds of your uh, island uh, already uh, in, 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 over a longer period of time uh, and that the, the forecast for the future is uh, another two feet of sea level. What would another, if, if there was another two feet of sea level rise, what would that mean for Tangier Island? Tangier Island, is, our elevation is only about four foot above sea level. Yeah. And if, if I see sea level rise occurring, I'll shout it from the housetop. Okay. I mean, we don't have, you know, the land to give up, but uh, I'm just not seeing it. Yeah. Okay. Well, one of the challenges of this issue is taking what the, what the scientists say uh, and, and translating it into terms that are believable to people with, with, where they can see the consequences in, the, in their own lives. And, and I get that, and I try every day to figure out ways to, ways to do that. 